Hi guys, it's Kales and I am coming at you with my February monthly recommendations video. Monthly recommendations is a group on Goodreads created by Kayla Rain and Trina over at Between Chapters. It is kind of like Top 5 Wednesday except instead every month we do recommendations of books and there's different categories and that's just how it works. But coming at you this month is Not Another Love Story, which I think is perfect for the month of February. Let's talk about books that don't have love stories as their central theme or they don't have love stories at all. The first one that I want to give you is kind of a middle reader. That is The Westing Game. The Westing Game is an excellent clue-like murder mystery thing except, you know, there's kids in it too and there, like I said there is some love story but it's not the main thing it's kind of a part of the murder mystery inside of this I loved this book as a kid and I think about it when I think about you know cleverness and figuring things out it's kind of Sherlock Holmesian and clue and murder mystery I know I've said that like 700 times but it's true it's very short you know a middle reader I read it in middle school it was one of the required readings we also did a play version of it in middle school and I really love it it's a it's a Newbery honor and and you should read it it's very good the next book is I know I'm gonna get his name wrong it's German and the last time I recommended this book somebody corrected me on it and I can't remember what it is but it's by the same guy who wrote Artemis Fowl and that is The Wish List and The Wish List is about this young girl named Meg who dies and she dies at the beginning of the book it's not a spoiler I promise anyway she dies and um, instead of being sent to heaven or hell she is split right down the middle of good and bad so she's sent back to earth to help this man complete his wish list before he dies and to kind of be the last final test for her to see if she's gonna get into heaven or hell and and this is a, again a, a kind of YA middle reader borderline book but what's so fascinating about it is that it's really dark for a middle grade book it talks about death and uh, good versus evil and and you know Maggie is not the ideal heroine like you don't know where she's gonna end up and you don't know if you want her to end up in certain places this one's a good one too very thought-provoking. Next I'm going to recommend to you Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. Bossy Pants by Tina Fey is about Tina Fey's life. It's her autobiography and it's really really good. It's about being your own boss and about her life and how she came to be into comedy and her family and so yes there is one little romantic element about how she met her husband but even that she manages to turn into a funny kind of terrifying story because they talk about their honeymoon and it was like they almost died. It's just crazy to me how funny she keeps this and how lighthearted and it makes you feel better about yourself especially if you're in your like early 20s of like what the hell am I doing with my life hi yes hello me I think people should read more autobiographies I, I would recommend this along with a slew of other ones um, that I have read because they're really good and very interesting and people should take the time to read people's life stories especially when they write them down like this then I have one of my absolute favorite books of all time and that is Life of Pi by Jan Martel and again no romantic love story in here it's a little itty bitty one at the beginning when Pi's like interested in a girl but slowly but surely that doesn't happen because if anybody knows if you've seen the movie or if you have read the book long story short is young boy from India his family runs a zoo and they have to move to Canada and move the zoo with all of the animals and there's a shipwreck and the only people left are Pi little boy and a couple of animals and then eventually it's only him and a 250 pound bangled tiger named Richard Parker this book is an excellent book about life uh, different types of love, religion, survival, and, and faith, and also it's metafictional and thought-provoking, and I did have to read it for school, but it is still one of my absolute favorite books that I've ever read. It's a very unique situation in a very unique book. We're gonna go back to a middle reader book. <laughs> And it's just easier, I guess, to recommend middle reader books because they're not concerned about love and all that stuff at the time. And that is The Thief Lord by Cornelia Funk. Guys, I love this book because I love Venice and I've been in love with Italy for a really long time. I've been blessed enough to get to go twice, but one of the reasons I fell in love with Venice was this book. It's about two young orphans who run away from their aunt and uncle who are their guardians um, and run away to Venice because their mother talked about it so much and they um, meet a mysterious band of children who live in a movie theater and survive there um, and their head of the band is the Thief Lord and they go on the hunt for this magical carousel legend thing all the while a detective is trying to hunt them down and it's so intriguing and amazing and about a friendship but adventure and the idea of growing up and wanting things that you can't have and magic and it's so just intriguing and and, and now, I'm, now I'm talking about it, it makes me want to reread it again another book that I have that I want to talk about here is Lauren Oliver's rooms um, which is again not a love story um, there are some 
romantic aspects, but they're not even really that romantic, more just sexual. Um, uh, it is a book for for adults um, that Lauren Oliver wrote. You guys should know her from the Delirium series, from Panic, Vanishing Girls. She also um, wrote some middle reader books, but this is her adult one that I really, really liked. It's creepy and good, and it's about this family that has to go clean out their father's house, and there's ghosts that live in the house, and it, it, it talks about the house and the history of the house and what happened in each of the rooms, haha, <laughs> from uh, the ghost's perspective and from uh, the people cleaning it out's perspective. It's tragic, guys. It's tragic and it's kind of scary and it's like, it's adult, you know, but it's very good and, and a fascinating examination of people and fear. It's just good. So yeah, these are my recommendations for the month of February. Hey look, they're kind of similarly colored. That's kind of cool. Happy February, y'all! Let me know down in the comments below if you want to know more about these books. What do you recommend for the month of February? What is the first book that you can think of that is not a love story? Or doesn't have one? And that you would want to recommend to me? Go for it! Until next time, guys! Bye! Hi! Ooh! Curtain's open. No one needs to see that. Why do my books always fall?